as expected, Beryl has become a hurricane once again. And this is playing out like Colleen and I talked about last night, where we would have the arrival of tropical storm force winds with a hurricane warning up and needing to get your preps done before it becomes a hurricane potentially and then strengthens overnight. And that's what's playing out. So uh, hopefully uh, we trusted the forecast and the warnings and we got our preps done because now we've got the hurricane that was forecast. And remember that it has maybe four, five, six hours left over water. So there's still time for additional strengthening and it probably remains a hurricane for a bit after coming ashore. And unfortunately for the Houston Galveston area, this motion is generally northward and it's gonna put the Houston Galveston area in the right hand side, the stronger, wetter onshore flow side. And we know it's a hurricane mainly based on what the hurricane hunters have been showing. Uh, this is the Air Force plane that uh, the mission took off a couple hours ago, and they went from west to east, and that's when I shared with you a little while ago that we had flight level winds and step frequency microwave radiometer winds that are about as close to being a hurricane without it being a hurricane as you can possibly get. And so based on that, and, and we've all been looking at the radar data, the, the, the velocities and the radar are really strong, and the convection has really ramped up in the center. This is all enough uh, to make it a hurricane. So there's where we had the observation of the SFMR that was right up near hurricane strength. And you had flight level winds that were above hurricane force and then you adjust that to the surface, it was right at hurricane force. So uh, we've got our hurricane and we can uh, you know, dispense with is it gonna become a hurricane or not? And the fact that it's a hurricane hopefully any stragglers who didn't think this was going to be a real big deal can get on board and really hunker down for tonight and tomorrow because this is going to bring wind and water impacts that are life-threatening at the coast and inland. And here's Houston, here's Galveston, and look at how the convection has really blossomed offshore. And like I mentioned before, you don't have to have a perfectly closed or round ring of an eyewall on the radar to make it a hurricane. It's based on the wind data. 